What is going on you guys? Welcome to today's video. Currently driving the Jetta wagon, heading to the hobby shop right now. Jordan actually brought me some coolant so I can fill it back up and have that stop flashing, which the car holds temp no problem. They're still cool in the system, it's just a little bit low. And then also I wanna check uh, the engine lines. that came on randomly yesterday. I'm not sure why the car still runs perfectly, but we'll see here in a minute what's wrong. Also, since I went through and tightened the hoses on the auxiliary radiator in the side, um, we haven't had any coolant leaks at all. So I think we're good. This is the first time I've actually driven the car since then. Uh, once I park the hobby shop and turn it off, we'll see once that pump turns on if it's leaking, but I think we fixed it. I am very curious though what this uh, check engine light is for. Leave some uh, leave some comments down below. What do you guys think um, that one's gonna be for? To look at this cool kid. And we got Mike's Golf R over there. Just a nice little lineup. Let's see who notices me. Hey, there he is. <laughs> All right, let's turn this off. Okay, okay, okay. No coolant pouring out. There's no waterfall yet, we're good. Oh, lovely. That makes me happy. That makes me very happy. We're good. Yeah, the lower hose on the auxiliary radiator down there, yeah. it wasn't on tight enough. I put two hose clamps. You can see yeah, some of the old stuff burning off, yeah, but yeah. last time I turned the car off, I had a waterfall. And that was no fun. But now we're good. Look at that. We are good to go. Jordan brought me some coolant because he's a homie. And then all of this stuff I need to throw in the trash and the old chains and that kind of stuff can all go away. And look at this beauty over here. So Jordan, now during this video, the question everyone's gonna ask is, What is this for? No, no, where is the, uh, the R36? Oh uh, yeah, just didn't pan out with the, uh, yeah. the maintenance and the, the troubles that we had suspicions about and then the dealer didn't want to like, Play ball with like a negotiation at yeah. all, yeah. And so um, went ahead and passed on that, and I found a new. You got a new toy. Do you want to say it now? Or you want to hold it off for a little bit? Hmm. Hold it. Oh, hold it off. So he's got he's got a new toy. We said Wednesday you pick it up, right? Yeah. Still very very cool. I will say it's a wagon. Very very cool. And we're mounting these tires to be his winter tires for um the new wagon you'll see on Wednesday. You said Wednesday, right? Wednesday. Yeah. Wednesday. So now you have this wagon and another wagon, which is sick. But once you get one wagon, you can't stop. Can it's carry, just the most useful thing. Carry all the stuff. You got some nice little borbits. Nice. I like these. 17s? All right. Yeah. 17. Nice. Nice little winter setup. <clears throat> nice little winter setup. Yeah. Jordan, I'm going to ask you one question real fast. Yeah. If I open that door, there's no door card. Just don't, just don't open it. You're going to get <laughs> sad. Okay. All right. Let's get your tires out of here. Let's get them mounted up. And then I have an engine light to check because I'm not sure why it's even on. We got some fresh meat. Good to go. All right, so coolant wise, we are now good to go. Again, thank you, Jordan, for bringing that for me. Now I'll go inside, grab the scan tool, and see uh, what's going on with this thing. If I can spin this. There she is. All right. All right, my friends, let's see what kind of nonsense we've got going on with this car. Is it not there? What's happening here? Is that only the Eurospec cars? Is the US one underneath here? Hold on a second. Where's my light? Oh, it is down here. Okay, fun fact. US cars is here, European cars is over there. Now you know. The more you know. All right, that's on. Where's my key? Let's see what we got. Do your little connection thing, it's cold outside. I'm very curious to see what we've got going on here. Or maybe like I said, it could be because the coolant was low and that's when it came on. We shall see. All right, well, as soon as this thing loads, we'll, uh, we'll check back in. All right, we have a winner. P0340, which is the camshaft position sensor. Uh, this car only has one, so, so I want to check. I'm going to unplug it, plug it back in. Or I'm going to clear the code first and what happens, but if not, that's very, very simple to replace. So I'll go through, clear it first. I'm going to unplug it, plug it back in, make sure things just connected properly. I will clear it and see if it goes away or it comes back. All right, so I went ahead, unplugged the camshaft sensor, plugged it back in. I also cleared the code, and then I plugged this back in, and now it's saying we have no current pending codes. So... Let's go ahead and start her up and see if it all goes away. 
So currently we have a nice clean dash, no lights anywhere, no coolant, no check engine light. I'm going to drive it home. Like I said, the car still runs great, which I don't think it's actually a problem, but I'm gonna drive the car home and then I'll just keep an eye on it, but I think we're okay. If not, I'll order a new one. It's only one little sensor to fix. Very easy to get to, very easy to swap, not really a big deal. But car's running good, idling smooth, no more lights. I think we are back in business. Well, we have uh, made it home, not a single light came on, car's holding temp. We have no leaks currently, no engine light. I think uh, we're good. Maintenance is out of the way. Uh, no more leaks, no more engine lights, all good to go. All we're waiting for now is a powder coat for my brake calipers to hopefully ever show up. Uh, get those done, put the new brakes in the car, and then off to inspection, which again, I'm confident we're going for the first try pass. That's what I want. All the rest of the car, well, actually the R32 pass first try, um, the rest of the cars have all failed. I want to go through this car first try, be done, get my permanent plates and discs, be good to go. And I think, uh, I think she's got it. I think uh, we're almost there. Just brakes and that's it. Actually, before I speak, uh, I speak too soon. Let me just double check. We're not pouring coolant out of the car because that would be awful. You good? Oh, we're golden. No coolant, no waterfall. Yes, as I'm talking about, you're a good car. You're a very good car. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it is a cold one this morning, boys. Let me just tell you, but sun's out, so not all bad. checkup he said everything looks perfect um all the surgery went well stitches look good uh we had to do some moving though like bending the angle up and down and after like surgery not moving it a little bit rough a little stiff it's a little bit stiff so my job for her this next like week and a half i have to take her boot off move her ankle but down we need to get it to where it's at neutral because right now it's kind of like this and we need it like no, this no my toes are just pointed down like this We're not that far <laughs> So we need to get more movement in it because he wants it to be able to be in neutral by next Thursday. Next my birthday as well. Yeah. Party at the ER. Christian's turning 37. Um, wow, that's a lot of extra years he there. That's great. A lot of extra he years. great. So I think it's going good. There's a little bit of pain, but it's going smooth. Also, it was very cold this morning and my engine light's back on. So I'm going to grab a new, well, not a new, I'm going to grab the cam sensor off my spare beer sticks, put it on this one, also the coolant hose, and we just get that fixed today. And then, yeah, I want to wash this car, but it's uh, 33. And that just does not sound fun in the slightest bit. Let me cold for a second, hang on. Just a little bit more sound. We'll do second gear. Just a little rippy rip. Done. done. I can't wait till it's much louder. I like that laugh. <laughs> I like that laugh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so just dropped the wife off at home, got her her medicine, her leg propped up, uh, got her some lunch, now she's chilling. I'm gonna go to the junker real fast, drop off all the old stuff from the um, the VR6, the subframe, the clutch, that kind of stuff, get it thrown away, then head back home and hopefully go and pull the spare VR6 kind of out of the garage, a little bit not out of the garage, but just get to it, and then pull the cam sensor out of that one, swap with this one, and maybe our engine. Okay, and we are back home, my GoPro died, because GoPros absolutely suck in the cold what i was saying though is pull the cam sensor off of that's where vr6 put it on this one and see if our engine light goes away and then also the coolant flange piece that goes right over here to connect the throttle body to this one back over to here pull it off as well and then reroute this stuff and then hopefully we are good to go what i'll show you right now you can hear the pump is running and still no leak so that's all good to go a lot of people said that radiator was toast which i don't think it is because obviously that's running it's pumping coolant through there there's no leaks uh, i think it's 100 percent good to go and our issue was that leaky hose so that's good and done so i'm gonna let this cool off first i'm pulling off coolant hoses and melting my hand i need to move the r32 move the gti and get to our spare br6 
So I don't remember exactly who it was, but I had some request that I start up Miley. So we'll do it right now. But I will say there's probably a good chance this car might be dead. There's a good chance. But we'll see. When will she come to life? I started it last week, I think. But I was kind of slacking on starting this car, so we'll see if she starts or not. I hope so. We got lights in the dash. It might be very slow, we'll see. Come on! In this corner, we have another US spec AFP Mark IV 12 out of VR6. I pulled it out of a junkyard Jetta a while back. Really, no plans with it, just I wanted to save it. And there she is. But back over here, this right here is the camshaft sensor. I'm gonna pull that off. And then back over here, it's going to be this one this plastic little T fitting right there. I need that one so I can put this hose back on and that hose back on to my VR6. But yeah, I pulled this a long time ago, really no plans for it, but it turned out really good because I used the transmission for this one for the VR5. So that was a good save. And now we have this sensor to test and see that's what we need. And we have over here, the T fitting I need. And then anything else I could possibly need for my VR6, we have plenty of spares, uh, crank sensor, all that kind of good stuff. Also, you might hear in the background very quietly, but uh, the Mark II is also running. I start this car as well. Uh, always starts off, runs great, no problem. Oh, this thing's awesome. You can hear a little bit. Such a great car. Everything works on it. Again, some of the comfiest seats in the entire world. I love this thing. And Casey is so excited to be home and uh, mess with this car a little bit. This thing's sick. And it's red, it's a Mark II. Just a super, super cool car. So, easy enough, our, well, new to us cam sensor, which I cleaned up a little bit. Looks to be in pretty good shape. I was told that VR6 that I pulled, well, that one over there that I pulled for the junk card, had like 150,000 miles on it. How true that is, I don't know. Has it been replaced in that car? I also don't know, but it looks to be in decent shape. So, we'll toss it in and see what happens. And then our new flange, that'll go right back over there. I have to grab the other hoses that are in the garage and then, uh, We'll get to work. Now pull the engine cover off, move this a bit because the sensor is down under there, and then we gotta work in this section over here. So this one here is one that just came off of my VR6. It looks to be in completely fine shape, but could have gone bad, never know. But I don't see any like marks on it and like that. I mean, there's nothing that can really hit this because it just goes inside by the hall sensor on the exhaust cam in the back. So nothing should hit this, but it looks to be in completely fine shape. I think this number right here, it's kind of hard to tell on the camera, is the date of manufacture. Possibly this one says the 18th of 01. 
and then this one says the 13th of 2000 so that's correct uh, this is an older one but again it looks to be in good shape uh seal looks to be good so i'm gonna pop it in and see what happens and also before i put this back together i need that one out of there so i'm gonna pull off this hose and figure out things and get that swapped out so i wish a second ago i was recording and i popped this hose off it sprayed coolant all in my face and it was so much fun so now i'll pop this bottom one and we can get this little flange out of here it's in a really fun spot lots of easy access ow i want one of those tools it's like a cable like almost like four of these things where you kind of like just pinch it and it holds the vice here works but it doesn't always hold all the way let it go yes there's a broken one where's my new one i've lost it I lost it, I found it, it's okay. All right, old one out. New one going in. Look at that. I need to move this clamp up a little bit. Okay. Good, so that should be for there. Get this one back into here. Everything's in my way. I'm gonna go through and delete everything off the engine secondary air no more secondary water pump it's gonna be a bare engine bay there it is thank you get off of my head okay so now i do is put this one back in that goes so i pull off the one we added pull that off this will go from there to our throttle body to this one and then i have this hose to go from the bottom of the throttle body over to here and then we put it back together and we're done and hope there's no leaks so i don't really want to do this again it's not hard but it's not the most fun so hopefully this is a one and done kind of thing all right so we have our new to us cam sensor plugged in right there and there are new t-flange back over there and all the factory mess is back in. i mean it really is a huge mess back there but uh being worried about how cold it gets here having the court run through the throttle body to keep it warm is definitely not a bad thing to have right now so i don't mind keeping that for the time being not a big deal i'm hoping this will clear our engine light i might have to go and get the code reader I actually go in clear the code again and then see what happens but it might just go off by itself with this sensor and whether it's good or bad i don't know uh, we might have to order a whole new one but we'll start with this and just see what happens so she is 100 back together let's now see if we have changed anything again i might have to go to the hobby shop and clear the code for the cam sensor uh, which i'll do before i order a new one but possibly it might just go off on its own now i have a new one let's see what we got here mm, still on so i said i'll go to the hobby shop probably uh clear the code and then drive it again so it happens last time i turned it off it was off for the time that I drove home. I turned the car back on, it came back on again. So, uh, what time is it now? I might head there now. Uh, it's 4.23, I will head there now, actually. What day is it? It's Sunday? It's Tuesday. I'm gonna head there now, clear the code again, then drive back home and just see what happens. And hopefully uh, we solve the issue. But again, the car is still idling smooth, running fine. Um, so no issues there. Also take a quick look, make sure there's no visible leaks back here which i don't see so i think that's good she sure runs so smooth just burn away all right so we're back at the hobby shop i have the scan tool again we're going to read the codes and see what's still showing for it's p0340 correct yeah so still showing that i'm going to go ahead again see the screen at all it's too bright there it is so I'm gonna go ahead and clear it again and just see if it goes away or if it's good or not I said I don't know if the sensor I put in is good or bad, but we're gonna erase this one And we're gonna see what happens So erasing codes So erase is done We will off So it should go off now so same as last time it went off, by the time I got home, well, I drove home was fine and I turned back on the second time it came back on. So we'll see whether that comes back or not. If it does, I'll order a new one. If not, then we are just good to go. Now the plan for the rest of the night, we have to go to the commissary and go Thanksgiving shopping 
two days before Thanksgiving because I didn't plan out Thanksgiving because she wasn't going to be here and now it's just sad well we're going to hang out with people and have food but like with you at least you weren't going to be here but now the wife's home Thanksgiving's what Thursday right mm -hmm. it's so Tuesday now down. so we'll see uh what's left normally there's a lot they have plenty of turkeys and stuff but uh we'll see how chaotic it is normally we shop like the week before but now it's literally two days before I think we'll be alright we'll be fine we don't need too much stuff. I'm gonna be okay. I just need the crispy onions for my green bean, green bean casserole. I just like turkey, mashed potatoes, and corn, and I'm set. All the rest of the stuff and little salad and stuff just. Oh my gosh, I forgot stuffing on my list. We don't need stuffing. We're eating it. I'll eat it straight out the box. I don't even need to cook See, it. See, I just the basics: so turkey, good. mashed potatoes, corn, stuffing scalp is potatoes is fine. Basic. Stuffing is basic. Here, hold that. You hold that. I gotta do some driving. Stuffing is not good though. I don't like stuffing. Stuffing is delicious. Where am I going? Where's Commissary at? I forgot. Go this way. Oh, it's that way. I forgot where I was at altogether. Okay, and we're lost already. We're good. Oh, we're not looking too packed. Nah, I think we'll be just fine. I think we'll be just fine. We go in and all the shelves are empty. Right? I mean, no, it's not that packed. It's busy, but not like crazy. I think we're good. It is far too cold outside and the lights back on so definitely need to order a new uh camshaft sensor um but good news fresh shopping went well surprisingly enough Turkey. wasn't busy so that's awesome now we can have thanksgiving and have lots of delicious food i'm quite excited which actually this video you know edit today you might see this before thanksgiving but if not happy thanksgiving to you and your family happy thanksgiving okay <laughs> i felt the need I'm so sorry. I'm not sorry, actually. Why are you being bothersome? You know what's funny? No, I watched, I edited the video from yesterday, and you were making faces behind me the whole time that I didn't see until I was editing the video. No. Yes. So, I'm the drama? Yes, you are the drama. Am I the villain? Yes, the villain, you. I'm the villain? Yeah. Okay, we go home now. I want this to go away. That's kind of annoying. So I went through and did some research on the P0340, the code that we have for this car for the camshaft sensor. Um, I read through the symptoms. I don't have any of the symptoms like a slow start, rough idle, lack of power. Um, the car runs fine because it has all the power. Idle smooth, doesn't install, none of that kind of stuff. So I'm hoping this is a faulty sensor. I'm going to order a brand new one, uh, toss it in. If we still have the issue, something else, maybe it's out of time, but I mean like Everything lined up. We have our cams. Like I don't think it's out of time. I don't think our chain is stretched. It's all brand new stuff in there. Uh, I think I saw also possibly a bad crank sensor could give you this signal as well. Possibly so. I'll probably order a new crank sensor and a new cam sensor at the same time. Just do both because um, they both have 120. Oh, the new one I just put in. I don't know the miles on that one. The last one with the crank sensor that's currently on the engine have about 120,000 miles on them. So they could be going bad. I don't quite know. I said if it was out of time when I drove the car home, uh, what came on right away? I would think but it drove home fine uh it didn't come on until like two three days afterwards and then after i had run the car for a while then it had came on um when it was just sitting and idling so i'm hoping this is a faulty sensor we'll toss in a brand new one and then uh see what happens gonna end the video here hope you guys enjoyed do not forget be thankful for every single day we'll see you guys next time peace